Hello and welcome to a brand new series of Only Connect, the quiz that's harder to understand than Duncan Bannatyne reading the shipping forecast. The principle is actually quite easy to understand. The teams simply have to work out the connection between various clues. But the clues are slippery and the connections are fiendishly hidden. So if you're going to join in at home, I hope you had fish for breakfast. Guzzling the haddock tonight, that's not a euphemism. We've got Roger Prackley, a business analyst for a soft drinks company with a passion for Oxford United Football Club. Sean Carey, a modern languages graduate who enjoys Japanese puzzles. And their captain, Beth Webster, a healthcare scientist with an interest in ancient Egyptian history. They found friendship online. Hello. They are the social networkers. So, Beth, everyone's a, a social networker now. What's different about your team? Well, we all live in different parts of the country and uh, we keep in touch with each other on Facebook and these two lovely people answered my application plea as a status update. Oh, so you advertised for an Only Connect team? Yes. Wow, and did you sort of give them test questions or you just took whoever said no, yes? No, I just took whoever said yes and it, these were the only two, so... <laughs> so as far as you know, they don't know anything at all? No, they know lots of things. In no. fact, they're probably better than me. We'll find okay. out. Your opponents are John Larkin, a board game fanatic with an interest in Anglo-Saxon history, Catherine Lloyd, a keen blogger and linguist who enjoys live comedy and heavy metal music, and their captain, Dave Lloyd, an accommodation officer who loves war poetry and vegetarian cookery. Natural bedfellows there. They are brother, sister and housemate, none of whom eats meat. They are the vegetarians. So, Dave, uh, how have you been preparing? Plenty of red meat before the show? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, we've been grazing in fields, mainly, um, and doing a lot of uh, training montages to Eye of the Tiger. Now, your opponents advertised to meet each other for top brains. Did you pick the cleverest people you knew, or just whoever was in the room? Um, the cleverest people I knew picked me to do the speaky bit. <laughs> Excellent. Well, let's see if they made a wise choice. We're going to play the quiz. In round one, I'm sure you'll know, teams, you simply have to tell me what's the connection between four clues, but the fewer clues you need to see before telling me the answer, the more points you get. Social Network has won the toss, so you're going to go first. Please look at the board and select an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, we'd like Twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. Your first clue, and these are going to be picture clues, is coming up now. Spring or well, spring do technique says so Audi. Is that Audi? Yes. That's not an Audi symbol though. No, it's not. It's not quite. Next. Who's the clue who that I have is. no idea. Is it Audi Abraham? No. No idea. Uh, next. That's Stu Francis. Stu Francis. Francis. Crusher Grape, Cracker Jack. Cracker Jack. Cracker Jack. Cracker. Next. Gotcha. Next. Dutch. Okay, Dutch. 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 It's, it's, You've got it's ten seconds. T U K L M. It's it's consecutive letters. Consecutive letters. Make up consecutive letters. So that is brilliant. They contain three consecutive letters. I was just about to say, poor you. What a tough first clue. <laughs> what did you recognise? Well, Stu. So S T U Francis from mm -hmm. Cracker Jack, and then K L M. Yeah. No, well, we don't know the first two. So. The first one is the symbol for A B C, the Australian uh, TV channel, and that oh, fellow okay. in the second picture is Moss Def. Spells yes. the name D E F. So three consecutive letters is the connection there. Very well done. Vegetarians, your turn to pick a hieroglyph. Can we have I have Horus, please? You can. That is going to be the music question. You'll be hearing the clues. Here's the first one. Beatles. It's Hollow Skelter, isn't it? Um, uh, next. next. Um yeah. Wait for the ghost train that never comes. Fairground rides. Fairground rides. Go with it. Um, is it fairground rides? It absolutely is. Coming in after just two clues, you get three points. They're all fairground rides. You heard Helter Skelter waiting for the ghost train. You would have heard Carousel Waltz and Life is a Roller Coaster. <laughs> you did very well to get that after just two clues. So back to the social networkers to please pick a question. Horned Viper, please. Horned Viper, your first clue is coming up now. Next. Who does the Pacific and Colin in the Man on Sunday? Is it to me particular? Is that John? Is that Hitchens? I don't know. I really don't know. Next. It's a passion. Does he call him a, a black dog? Is it something dog? I don't really, I really don't know. Black dog. I really haven't a clue. Dogs, dogs. Dogs. Ten seconds. Next, please. 
Yeah. Dogs. Dogs, or more specifically, black dogs. They are all referred to or depicted as black dogs. Very good. I don't think you knew the first one, Barbara of Yorkshire. It's a beer, isn't it? Well, not as far as I know. Oh, and I must say, when it comes to beer, I'm quite the expert. <laughs> no, it's actually... That's, that's a sort of ghost story about a, a black dog, a ghostly dog story, that is. Mail on Sunday have a political column that's, that's called Black Dog. Winston Churchill referred to his depression as that. And Nasher, or Ganasher, of course, you know... Dennis the Menace. It's Dennis the Menace's little dog, dog from the Vino. Black dogs, that's the connection. Very well done. Back to the vegetarians for a question. Two reads, please. Two reads. Your first clue is coming up now. Next. Yeah, uh, next, please. Um, okay. It's going to be initials for something. Think, uh, yeah. Go on, next. Next, please. Oh, always stand on the left or the right. Which one is it? And it's uh, always on the left when you're on TV, so they're in alphabetical order. So, is that standing on the left? Yeah, I'd, go, I'd agree with that. Go with it. OK. Um, does it always stand on the left? No, it's that they're all drunk. <laughs> I'm joking. They're all traditionally seen on the left-hand side. Last one would have been red light on a boat. Yes, Ant McPartlin, it's, uh, that's as the viewers look at him, he's on the right. left, not, not stage left. Why does he always stand on the left? They're called Anton Deck, so you just that way around to, to avoid confusion. Apparently the practical reason was that viewers didn't know which was which. <laughs> for ages, because they were always together. They said, right, you're just going to stand in the same place all the time. So, traditionally seen on the left, very good, coming in after three clues. You get two points, well done. Social networkers, pick a question. All right, we'll have a lion, please. Lion, your first clue is coming up now. Formula One, or is it Taj and Cheers? You know, toast. Next. Does that mean they're all ways of saying cheers? Are they? Try the next one. Next. Yes. They're all ways of toasting or saying cheers. The very sight of the words has given me a raging <laughs> thirst. <laughs> they are ways of saying cheers in various languages. Do you know uh, which languages? Shanti is Irish. Shanti is Irish, and Skol is um, the Scandinavian. That's the Scandinavian um, A, isn't it? And Prost yeah. is German. I'm not Prost sure. Prost is that. German. Prost is German. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, or it sounds maybe Maori or something yeah. like that. I uh, like your deductive reasoning. Yeah. It is Maori. That's oh. in New Zealand that they would say that. Cheers. Very well done. So, there is just one question remaining for you, vegetarians. It's going to be the water question. Your first clue is coming up now. That's a motto of something, isn't it? What is it? I thought yeah. it was name of something. Well. Okay, the next, next, we don't. Uh, next, please. Oh. <laughs> Go next, please. Uh, next, please. He's... Um... He's the head of the Catholic Church in England. I'm rather struggling uh, to get a link on that. Uh, next. Uh, yeah. Four pointed things? Because I don't know, maybe he's got a four pointed hat. I'm frankly clutching at straws here. You've got five seconds. Um, is it, is it um, four points? Four pointed things. Mm. Explain to me how Cormac Murphy O'Connor has four pointed things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he, he may stand in a cross shape a lot. <laughs> he may, but that's the man's own private business. You do not get the point. There's a possible bonus for you, social networkers. We think it's cardinal. You are absolutely correct. Yeah. Talk me through it. Uh, well, north, south, east and west, the cardinal points the compass. Cormac Murphy O'Connor is a cardinal. Uh, one, two, three, four cardinal numbers. Uh, and prudence four cardinal and virtues. four called cardinal virtues. They're the cardinal virtues. Yes, that's right. One, two, three, four cardinal numbers, whereas first, second, third and so on would be ordinal numbers. So bonus point to you, very well done. So let's look at the scores at the end of round one. The social networkers have got five points and the vegetarians also have five points. In round two, there are still four clues and they're all connected, but this time they come in a sequence and I want to know what is the fourth clue. So teams, you will see a maximum of three and as usual, the fewer you see, the more points. And I want to know what comes fourth. Social networkers, you'll be going first again, so please pick a hieroglyph. Eye of Horus, please. Eye of Horus, first in a sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Delicious. Anything? No, 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 nothing. No. Next. Is, this, is it song lyrics? Something like, it's a song that you're delirious, you're incredible. Um. It's, a song, it's, some, it's some song. They're not something to do with the words, are they? Yeah, the words. 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 Yeah
Yes. Yes. Next. Yes, it is DSDIS. Source own. Ten seconds. Yes. 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 Cutie. Thank you very much. <laughs> but that's not the right answer. Oh. So there is a possible bonus available to the vegetarians. Um, cool. Not cool either. Why do you think that? Uh, the song D-I-S-C-O and the things that she is in it. But we don't it, know the words well. <laughs> it is the song D-I-S-C-O. Cool doesn't appear at all. Cutie does, but in a different bit oh. of the song, not followed by those adjectives. Yeah. After those, it is complicated. Oh, oh really? After <laughs> delirious, incredible oh. and superficial, she is C, complicated. Oh. So, no points. Vegetarians, though, you can try and get some with your own question. Lion, please. Lion, first in a sequence coming up. What's fourth time starts now? Boys are or Australian Prime Ministers? Frankly, I don't Get next. We don't know yet. It's Australian Prime Ministers. Right. OK, this is limiting. How do I remember them well enough? Should we go next, anyway? <laughs> yes. Uh, next, please. Uh, it's the current... Um, that one starts, well, starts with a G. Say, say Gilligan or something. I'm, 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 Ten seconds. Try it. I'm not certain what the name is. Okay. Uh, is it Gilligan? No. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's not. So there's a possible bonus for you, networkers. It's Gillard. Oh. Gillard is the answer. I'm so sorry, and uh, you were very close. The sequence is Australian Prime Ministers. Next to the sequence would be Gillard. I'm sorry, and I was only laughing because I so love the name of Kevin Rudd. It's a brilliant name for an Australian Prime Minister. Kevin Rudd. Perfect. And uh, I didn't mean to laugh at how close you got because really that would be cruel. Not Gilligan. Gillard is the Australian Prime Minister. So that's a bonus point for the networkers, and you may now pick your own question. Two reads, please. Two reads. The first in a sequence is coming up now. It's it one, two, one, one, eight, twelve, eleven, ten. Okay, so eleven, ten, nine. 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 9, 8, 7. 9, 8, 7. 9, 7. August 2007. 7, 7, 9, 8, 7. Next, next. To the next. Just to next. Think yeah, next, please. Oh, no, so, so it's going down in threes. Ten seconds. Third of February, two thousand and one. Why? I'll let my teammates explain. The dates going down in three days. The months going down in three months. The years going down in three years. So it's a six. <laughs> You are right. You nearly fell into a trap of buzzing in early and getting the wrong yes. one. The secret is dates that would be written numerically as 12, 11, 10, yeah. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, <clears> and the last one, 3, 2, 1, would be the 3rd of February 2001. Very well done for the points. Back to the vegetarians to choose. Horned viper, please. A horned viper. What comes forth? The first one is coming up now. Uh, next, please. <laughs> Sounds like a series of books. Yeah, it's not one of them yet. Next, please. I think it is going to be some like books, but I have no idea. Okay, we need to come up with something that sounds good. Yeah. Good luck. Are you even guessing what it sounds like as an author? No, it sounds. It sounds like it could be a bit fantasy. Ten seconds. Perhaps monkey cupboard. Go with it. I don't. I don't know. The monkey cupboard. Yeah, it's the monkey cupboard. I thought it might be. Mm, mm. It's not the monkey cupboard. It's a possible bonus available for you social networkers. What comes forth? I can't remember. It's a van booker, isn't it? Yeah, we know what the link is, but we don't know what the answer is. The link's the booker prize winners. <laughs> oh, that's just lame. Your opponent's <laughs> tried to guess a book title. Come on, hit me. Just think of a book title, anything. <sighs> not Life of Pi. There's anything. No, so I'm already going to tell you you won't get the points because you've taken too no, long, but I want yeah. you to invent a book title <laughs> and say it to me. Ooh. As punishment uh, for not knowing what won the Booker Prize in 2010, because it is books that won the Booker yeah. Prize in successive skeleton years. Key. It's not the skeleton key, but it's the right kind of shape. The Finkler question. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> How of Jacobs and Novel, the Finkler question, and none of you know I'm ashamed of you. But, uh, yes, books that have won the Man Booker Prize. Wolf Hall, I'm very much looking forward to reading. The very second my doctor tells me I have 2,000 years to live. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm sure, I, you know, I'm sure it's a very good book, but uh, I've, I've watched men live and die trying to finish it. Anyway, no points. Tut-tut for literary merit. 
network as you may now pick your own question. Water, please. Water. First in a sequence coming up. What's fourth time starts now? Some marine? Uh, some could be... contractor? Some... Well, it's got to be in order, hasn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Next. Next. Uh, uranic. 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 But what would be next? Seems to be chemi what? chemicals, chemistry. Yeah. Next. Subatomic. Super. Sonic. Transonic. Ultra. Ultra. Uh, ultra. Super ultra. Oh, ultra would be next. Ultra. Ten seconds. Yeah, ten yeah. Ultra. ultra. I'm afraid not. No. <laughs> Possible bonus, vegetarians. What's, uh, John? Uh, supra. That is not correct mm. either. The fourth in the sequence would be hyper. And the reason is they are suffixes for sonic, sonic. speeds getting faster. Oh, yeah. Subsonic, transonic, supersonic, next would be hypersonic. Mm. So no points there. Mm. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I'd like to see some of you getting some points. Twisted flax is your last chance, vegetarians. Your first clue, and these are going to be picture clues coming up now. Try the next one. Yeah. Uh, next, please. New South Wales. Could be a Millennium Stadium. Oh, could be. Oh, that's not a sequence, is it? So ignore that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next, please. Okay. Looks like a massive compass, but I can't tell from there. Go for, uh, we've got the next one. Got the next one. Okay. Um, you think um, it's last one, so Emirates. I thought it was the Emirates, but I'm not entirely Ten sure. seconds. Oh, north, south, east, west, you mean? Or north? Yeah. Three seconds. So, um, um, uh, go west. <laughs> That's no way to speak to the host. I'm afraid that is not the correct answer. Social networkers, do you want to have a go for a bonus? I don't, I can't, I can't even I'm afraid I can't give you a long chat. Do you have an answer? No, we don't. Where I think you went wrong there, vegetarians, is you thought that was the, the Arsenal ground, but it's not. That is Old Trafford. See if you can get it now. Old Trafford, New South Blue. Wales. Blue. The third picture is a still the from borrowers. the borrowers, and the arrow points Blue. to a borrowed object. Blue. Old, new, borrowed, blue. We picked a, a bowl of blueberries, but we wanted to hear something with blue in it, the things that a bride takes on her wedding day. So no points on the last question, but uh, you're not badly off. Looking at the scores at the end of round two, the vegetarians are still on five points, but the social networkers have improved to nine. <laughs> So it's round three, the connecting wall. 16 clues this time, which our teams have to sort into four connected groups of four. It's going to be your turn to go first now, vegetarians. Beware the red herrings of the grid. There'll be some clues that seem to come into more than one group. But there's only one perfect solution. What is it? Your first choice is, would you like the lion wall or the water? Uh, lion, please. Lion wall. OK, your 16 clues are coming up. And your time starts now. OK. Bamboo shoots. Um, King. Don Donkey Jackie, Bomber Jacket. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, we've got some boots as well. It's Shrek, isn't it? Oh, yeah. oh and Dragon. Just, yeah. um, should, we, and donkey. should we do that one first? Fiona, Puss in Boots, Dragon, and Donkey. Don't remember Dragon. Dragon was there's the. A... Okay, there was a dragon, but there's not. Okay. Are there any other jacket? A oh, fire jacket as well. A oh, smoking jacket. Uh, Dra yes. Bomber, Donkey, Smoking. Um, is a fire jacket a jacket? Oh, it's can I know it? No. Not that I can You've recall, used 30 but. Seconds. Oh, God. Mm. Um. Um. Seahorse. Um. Smoking. Okay. Harold. Yeah. Harold. Yeah. It's confusing me. Is there a Harold in Shrek? Is there a character called Harold? Or is that a red herring? It could be. Um. Mayfly, Firefly. Can you get any others? Horsefly? Dragonfly. Right, let's remember which ones we've got and see if there's any others. Okay, ignore dragon for now. Uh, can you see any others? Um, butterfly? Yes. Horsefly, firefly. Yes, okay, I guess it flies right. Right. Norfolk. There's Norfolk Island, there's. Uh, not much you can go with that. It's just over halfway through Should the time. Should we go back to the Shrek one? Yes. I'll just try and get some other. I mean, almost over there. Um, I'll try Harold. It's not much of a bamboo, I'm trying to think what it's... This is a word-based one, isn't it? Windcheater. Uh, Sorry? What could Windcheater, I said. What more could Fiona be on? Something about the jacket as well. 
I'm, I'm, I'm onto pretty obscure stuff. I'm trying to think of it. Sunflower. Jacket. Um, jacket. Um, <laughs> off season. Uh, football season. Out of season. Yes. Walk away with that thing. 30 Wing seconds. <laughs> we want to start having some random jabs. Uh, yeah. Uh, Shall we? Go on. Have a okay. Uh, which were the ones we got yeah, that? Dragon. Tri donkey. And let's try. No, it's clearly not, but I'm happy with those three being in there. Flower. Try, 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 About 10 seconds dragon. now. Try Harry. Oh! <laughs> sure. That's a group. Random selection. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, the grid's frozen. Your time is up. But in the nick of time, you've got two groups, so that's two points right away. And you can now get bonus points for telling me the connections. Fire, may, horse, butter. Uh, all flies. Suffix is for fly. Wow. Firefly, mayfly, horsefly, butterfly. Next group, dragon, Fiona, puss in boots, Harold. Uh, characters in Shrek. Uh, characters in Shrek, you, you struggled with Harold. Yeah. Is it played by yeah. John Cleese, oh, is I think. King? Oh. King Harold, yes. Okay. And you can also get points for the connections of the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. There you go, that's what uh, it should look like. Smoking, Norfolk, donkey, bomber. That must be jacket. Yeah. Yes, you don't know the Norfolk jacket? No. no. It's <laughs> the kids used to wear, you know the phoenix and the carpet? They're always wearing Norfolk jackets oh. and they keep a, a phoenix feather in. You didn't know the Booker Prize either, reading. More reading for you guys. <laughs> And the last one, flower, wind, oh. season, bamboo. What was that? Are, they, are they in mahjong? They're the, um, oh, the various suits. Um, tiles. Yeah, the suits and the, and the tiles. They're mahjong tiles. Oh, Very well done. Good shout. <laughs> so you've got two points for the groups you've found and four points for the connections. That's a total of six points. Well done. Time to bring back the social networkers and see what they can do with the connecting wall. They'll have 16 fresh clues. Still must be sorted into four connected groups of four. So, networkers, the lion wall's been taken already, so you've got the water. 16 clues coming up. Time starts now. OK. Anything in right. anyway? We've got um, London boroughs, Brent, Merton, Sutton and Brent, Enfield. Brent, Merton, Sutton and Enfield. Well done, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, Lambeth Walk. Oh, there's type. There's 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 um, parasites, leech, flute, chick, and chigger. Three strikes and you're out okay, now, right. of course. Let's think about this one. Mother, mother nature, no. Bow. 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 Oh, bow. Not hook. London again. We've got a land. We've got a walk. We've got a walk. Land of palace. Nature walk. Space walk. Mm. No. no. Sinker. Are they these parts of something? Oh dear me. Um, <clears throat> uh, I don't know what drogue is at all. Is it something that's ending in rogue? Yeah. Pace. You've used a minute. Rain. Rainbow. Um, mother. Random. Number. Random. Oh, was, somebody said mother. Who's, yes, who's I said mother. mother. Oh, no, walk, sorry. Lambeth walk. Lambeth walk, space, space walk, walk, nature walk. Nature walk. Random walk. Random walk. Plough walk. Hook walk. Hook. Captain hook. Captain hook. hook. Captain bow. You've got a minute um, left. Lambeth ends in a girl's name, but none of the others do. None of the others do. Yeah. We've got to... I'd go for try the walk. Walk, so Lambeth space, nature. nature. What's a drug walk? Drug walk, bow walk, hook walk, plow walk, ran random walk. Oh, you've solved the wall! Oh, good God. Almost by accident, <laughs> yes. but very well done. So that's an immediate four points for the groups. Bonus points available for the connections. First group, Sutton, Enfield, Merton, Brent. Sean? London, London boroughs. They are boroughs of London. Leech, fluke, tick, chigger. All oh, paras parasites. Yeah, parasites. And the next one, space, random, Lambeth, nature. We're going to go? Yes, we're going to go for walks yeah, still? Yeah. Walks. Can they be... are walks. Yes, I mean, I have a bit of a bow walk myself, but it's not <laughs> in that group. Random, you struggle with. You don't know the term random walk? No. no. 
a mathematical term. It's used in modelling the movement of things in nature, insects or oh. you know, crowds even. But you've got the point for the connection. Mm. Well done. And the last one, bow or bow, plough, hook, drogue. Yeah. Fishing terms. Fly fishing terms. <laughs> I can't give it to you. I'm tempted. I'm thinking about it because it is a bit maritime. But no, they are types of anchor. Oh. So you were right to think of the sea, but yeah. uh, it's not not fishing. So you got four points for the groups that you found and three bonus points for the connections. That's a total of seven. Let's see what that does to the scores going into round four. The vegetarians have improved to 11 points, but the social networkers are ahead with 16. And if you were shouting Norfolk jacket like in the Phoenix and the carpet, maybe you and I should be friends. But in the meantime, you can go onto the website and play a connecting wall or even generate your own. That option is on the website now. But what we're going to do is play round four, the missing vowels round. Teams, you'll have to identify the hidden names, phrases or sayings from which we have removed the vowels and re-spaced the consonants. Fingers on buzzers. I'm going to tell you the connections in advance. The first four clues are all alkaline substances. Networkers. Baking soda. Correct. Vegetarians. Oven cleaner. Yes, it is. Next clue. Vegetarians. Ammonia solution? Yes. Networkers. Milk of magnesia. Correct. Next category, things on which you can sleep. Vegetarians. Futon. Yes. Vegetarians. Four post to bed. Yes. Networkers. Polyas. A straw mattress. Correct. Networkers. Double bunk. Yes, it is. The next group all mean quickly. Vegetarians. Lickety split. Correct. Networkers. Hot foot. Yes. Networkers. Prestissimo. Correct. Vegetarians. Post haste. Yes, it is. Next group, styles of type. Networkers. Curse. Yes. Vegetarians. Author case. Yes. Vegetarians. Antique? Yes. Vegetarians. Old English. Absolutely, yes. Next category, wine producing areas. Networkers. Chianti. Correct. Vegetarians. Alsace. Yes. Networkers. Finger Lake. Yes. Networkers. Yarra Valley. Yes, it is. Next category, soccer terms. Vegetarians. Indirect free kick. Yes. That last one was outside right, but we've heard that noise, which means either it's the end of the quiz or someone very posh has forgotten to turn off their phone. And my phone is definitely off. So it's the end of the quiz and looking at the final scores. The vegetarians have got 22 points, but the winners with 26 points are the social networkers. So I'm afraid it's goodbye to you, vegetarians, despite a brilliant round four for you there, John. I'm sorry, you've been a lovely team. And it'll be hello again to you, networkers, at a later stage. Very well done. Join me next time when I'll have different teams and, unfortunately for them, different questions. Goodbye. <laughs>still to come here on BBC4 there's more great thinkers in just a few moments as our brand new series comes to an end and then catch the last part of DH Lawrence's Women in Love this evening at 10 <laughs>